Today I'm going to teach you how to maximize the health benefits you receive from your Lenten vow. If you're not of a religion that observes Lent, don't worry because this video could still be useful to you as the underlying concepts apply to everyone. So first off, what is Lent? Lent was a 40 day period where Jesus left Jerusalem and lived in the desert on his own. In honor of this feat, most observers of Lent will give up something they like to eat or consume for this time period. When I was in elementary school, very popular choices were of course chocolate, soda, chips, candy, something like that. But of course, as soon as Easter Sunday came and Lent was over, the kids would gorge themselves and binge on a mountain of chocolate eggs or a whole bottle of soda and promptly undo whatever health benefits they'd accrued during Lent. So that doesn't really help you in any way. But there's a better way to do it where your Lenten vow will actually be something that impacts and improves your health long term, possibly even for the rest of your life. The way to do this is to make it a habit change. So instead of giving up something completely, you choose what something that you don't like about yourself that you do right now and work out a way to reduce it so, and in a way that is sustainable over the long term. And what makes Lent special for this is that the 40 day period is a perfect amount of time for most people to change a new behavior into a habit that they can keep forever. Plus, the re religious aspect is actually a great motivator as well. Because you could do this at any time of year and it could be successful. But at any other time of year, the promise you make is only to yourself. During Lent, you've made this promise to your God. And if you really believe in God, you're, you're not going to want to break a promise that you've made, right? So when it, go, when it gets tough and you, you're craving whatever it is and you really want to binge out, you're going to feel a lot more guilty if you cheat. And so you probably won't. So how, how do you go about doing this? Well, let you, what you want to do is choose a sustainable long-term habit change. This normally will be a reduction instead of an elimination. Then you'll choose something that's a lot stricter that you're going to keep just for Lent so it doesn't have to be sustainable but it has to be to do with this permanent change and has to assist you in keeping it. So let's take for example soda. Say you drink like six cans worth per day. You're going to now limit yourself during Lent to two cans per day. Then, as the booster, you're going to not be allowed to purchase any soda during Lent. So then you know that come Ash Wednesday, whatever soda is in the house is what you have to drink for the entirety of Lent. This is, what, how this helps is that you know that this is a limited quantity. You can't just go out and buy more because that would be cheating on your vow as well. And then on what happens on days that you feel like cheating is that you know like oh I could drink a little bit more today but then I'm gonna run out before the end of Lent so you're not going to right this has worked really well for my wife and I when we reduced our soda chocolate and last year we did treats in general the vow that you pick obviously depends on where you are right now if you don't drink soda at all then the vow, the, one, the vow I just gave as an example will do nothing for you. So you have to pick your current vice that is damaging your health. So examples that you could do is reduce the amount of coffee you drink every day, alcohol, tobacco. You could even use it to reduce the amount of time you spend looking at your cell phone screen. So for that one you would perhaps do it where you would set a limit of how many hours per day you're going to spend on your phone. And then just for Lent to help, you know, you're going to give up playing any kind of games on your phone. Or you're going to switch it off at a certain time of night. So I hope this Lent you choose something like that. And you have a really good positive impact for the rest of your life. Because just think, do you think God, your God would want you to suffer just out of devotion, but then get nothing out of it? Or have the same amount of suffering out of devotion, but positively change yourself forever. I'm pretty sure it would be the latter. 
So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and click below to subscribe and leave me a comment saying what you're going to give up for Lent this year.